Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Apache Cordova event listeners in your Ionic framework project. Uh, Apache Cordova has uh, quite a few event listeners, but only a few of them are compatible with Ionic framework because Ionic framework only supports Android and iOS, whereas the events listeners, there's some for Amazon, Kindle, Blackberry, Windows Phone. So we're just going to stick to the ones that are supported by uh, Ionic Framework. And, and the ones that are supported by Ionic Framework are the pause, resume, online, and offline listeners. But for the purpose of this tutorial, to keep it simple, I'm just going to focus on the resume listener. So let's go ahead and start by creating a brand new Ionic project. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to add the Android platform to the Ionic project that we just created. So if I was on a Mac, I would also be adding the iOS platform because this tutorial does work for iOS and Android. But since I'm using Linux Ubuntu right now, I'm restricted to just Android. But it, 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 it will work for iOS. So now that we've got our project created, it's on my desktop. It might be on yours as well. Let's go ahead and navigate to the www folder. JavaScript folder and then open up our app.js. So we're going to go ahead and register these listeners right in our Ionic platform ready uh, method. So at the bottom, let's go ahead and do the following. So what I did was, this is the standard way to make the Apache listeners. Uh, I'm going to use resume, but you could easily put pause or online, offline, whatever listener you plan to use. But again, I'm just going to use resume. So to keep things simple in this video tutorial, every time we resume our app, I'm just going to show an alert. And that's going to say, we resumed our app. So, um, this, this is the on success. So, for, hold on, let's see what that other parameter is. Yeah, it, it says to use false. So we're going to go ahead and leave it as false. So with this saved, let's go ahead and build our project. Again, just to reiterate, you can also build for iOS if you're on a Mac. Alright, with that built, let's go ahead and install it to our device. And let's go ahead and run it. Oh, I got two of them on here, so let's see which one's the right one. It's not that one. That's from a different tutorial that I did. Alright. Alright, we can see that our, our app is open. Now let's go ahead and, and back out of it and run it again. You can see that we resumed our app because we didn't we didn't technically exit out of our app when we hit the home button. 
Uh, again, I'll show you again. The app is resumed. But if we actually exit our app and relaunch, of course it, it doesn't show because we're not resuming our app, we're starting our app. Uh, this could be useful for numerous things, like maybe you put a lock screen in your app and you want the user to have to unlock it every time they open up their app because maybe you've made a password manager or store sensitive information. There's numerous possibilities. Um, and that's, that's really all there is to it. There, this is a very simple, simple tutorial. If you like this video tutorial, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. A written version of this tutorial can be found on my web blog, which I'll include in the description of this video. Uh, there's going to be plenty of videos and written tutorials to come, and I hope you enjoy them. Thank you.